Do you really want to do this? Why are you pushing my people around? Hey! Knock that off. Don't do that again. Okay, you are asking for it. Don't make me unleash the beast. Where is it? That guy is not very nice. He's just pushing everybody around. As soon as this guy's tamed, I'm thinking I'm gonna knock that guy out just because he's being so mean. All right, we're gonna call him Robocop, Riley. Robo Dino. How about Robo Riley? All right, Robo Riley. Boom, Robo Riley, okay. Now, big guy, you're carrying too much. I get it, let me see you. Can I, let me take like 300 pounds from you. Robo Riley. You're carrying this 300 pounds. Boom. All right, we should all be good now, right? I have a lot of dinos, don't you? All right. Do you really want this dino? Because I'll take you out right now. All right. I was... Gonna be friendly. Hey, leave us alone. We're just trying to get our metal at home. That's it. I was just trying to get home. Good job, guys. That's right, we did. So what happens when you mess with when you mess with us? I love my dinos too. I got Robo Riley. We got a whole group now. All right. Now we're gonna make the, the, the slog home and then we'll be calling it a night. Mm -hmm. mm, that, yeah, it was very yummy. Mmm, thank you. Some of our guys might be a little encumbered here. All right, let's go check on Baryonyx. He seems to be a little encumbered still. It's like, I can't carry all of this. Here, first off, get a carry weight. Oh, look, you got a lot of fried meat there. You got lots of meat going on there, buddy. I can understand why you're so full. All right, come on. Does that make you move faster? Can you move faster now? All right, let's get home, guys. That's what happens when you push us around. We're gonna make our long drive home and then that's where we're gonna call it for the day. So I've got all my dinos still, I've got all of that metal. In fact, it's a good time to do this. Save that and we're moving forward. All right, Spino, let's level you up. I'm gonna put one in speed, you're so slow. I don't know why every your heads are glowing. There we go. Now we're moving. Well, I'm glad I could be here. Thank you. Alright, 
Riley, big guy, Robo. Peta, big guy. Who am I missing? Peta, big guy. Right. Okay, I got everybody. It's a terrible day to be out riding dinos. So who we got? We got Peta, Robo Riley, Riley, and Big Guy. And where's Mr. Trike? Uh-oh. We're missing the trike. All right, we'll give him a second to see if he catches up. But I think we're missing trike. Ah! This is why it's hard to have fun things. Oops. Oh, I'm trampling those guys. That's why they're getting angry. This guy tramples people, okay. Alright. Oh, thank you. Can I have a hamburger, please? Or how about some pizza? Yeah, pizza, but no pepperoni. Or, I mean, no pineapple. You got everybody still? Trike, Robo, Big Guy, Pita. Other Riley. Alright, we got everybody. Cruising along, guys. As soon as we get back, we'll be calling her a day. A little, a little beyond my normal play uh, time here. Got Trey, keep on up. Oh, I don't want pineapple on my pizza. That's terrible. Nobody likes pineapple on their pizza. That's crazy talk. Oh, thank you. Much better. I will. That's very good. Probably remember, only silly people like pineapple on their pizza. What was that? Uh, I would like um, a sandwich. Uh, definitely no pineapple on my sandwich. I think we're just going to eat that dodo bird. And Gonzo. Oh, I think I made myself too heavy. Got everybody? All right, it still looks like we got everybody. All right, heading back. Almost back to home. Robo Riley, Riley, big guy PETA, and the trike. All right, we added Robo Riley to the group. Well, guys, once I get back, I'm going to be uh, finalizing this. I'm probably going to do inventory management on the next stream, so I'll I'll leave almost all the all the metal in these guys. But I'll be wrapping up here in a second. This was a pretty uh, good stream for Krug. Uh, a good. This was a good couple hours. I got this big Spino guy. This guy's cool. I need to try to get a good picture of Spino with me riding him. Mr. Spino, look over here. Look at the camera. Okay, look over here. Nope, look over here. Nope, look over here. Are you camera shy all of a sudden? All right, whatever. Be camera shy. Fine. Anyway, I got my Spino. I uh, got a, I'm getting a bunch of metal. I got a, a saddle for Baryonyx for Mr. Peta. This has been a good, a good run. Um, the game hasn't thrown anything at me so I'm sure there's going to be something here shortly oh thank you for the soup mm, that's good soup well I like pineapple soup just not on my pizza only silly people like it on their pizza 
See if these guys can swim or if all that metal will weigh them down. There we go. Almost home, Riley. Just around that corner. Yep, yeah, and I think the next... I think on the next stream I need to figure out where we're going to relocate to. My way tree. And there we are. Boom. What a day. Here comes the trike. Okay, we got Robo Riley, PETA, Big Guy, Little Riley, and the trike. We did it! We made it to the metal and back. We even left some metal behind because we didn't have enough people. We need more people. Next time I should have brought everybody. Yeah, right. Robo Riley's right here. Let's see her. Whoa. All right, let's do this. Whistle, stop, all. Oh. I think everybody should be eating. Trike, everybody looks like they've got food from the trough. So we're good. Here is Robo Riley, right? Hi, Robo Riley. Give you a uh, carry weight as well. Look at that. All right. I need to find a home, I like a permanent place where I can build some big walls and let these guys roam. Or I can really look into like how what it takes to actually breed um what it takes to breed uh my dodos somewhere where i'm closer to constant metal crystal and other resources um and i think on the next stream i'll start thinking about that okay we are back at it arcs are hello hi my guy it's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. So we just came back from the mountain, did our convoy up there to get some metal. Then uh, let's just make sure everything's clear on our beach. Nothing's come down to say hello. Well, we were gone. Just it looks like a little salmon swimming around. Okay. So. <clears throat> the plans for this stream. So this is what I'm thinking today's main goals are going to be. One, I've got to manage my inventory because I um, have all that metal. I've got to get smelting. Two, I think I want to do a little location scouting. Get around, look around for some locations to make a permanent home. And then three, which could happen while two is happening, is I want to get a bird. Um, so those are the three things I'm kind of focused on. First is I got to find, I want to find a location to make my permanent base. Uh, and then second, um, maybe get a bird to help me move this giant convoy of animals I have over there and then start a new base with a, a new permanent home. And I've got some ideas from when I did my cartographying and I flew around. I talked to Sheraton a little. She gave me some ideas. Um, we've got, I've got a couple that I'm going to look at, but first let's unload the metal. This is going to take a minute, so let's get started.
Okay, so let's finish our little inventory management here. Oops, wrong one. All right, so what is it? What was my final tally? So from my roll, three, six, nine, twelve. Let's call it fifteen. Let's call it fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred uh, metal. All right, back at it. So, lots of metal cooking. Let's get my. Meat put away. Let's see if the rest of this away. I really need to go get some narcotics because I am, I am, uh, I got a lot of meat gonna spoil without it. So, I guess let's go. Uh, what did it take to make it? Oops. What did it take to make a preserving bin? Or not a preserving bin, a um, a feeding trough. Fiber, metal, thatch, and wood. All right, fiber, metal, thatch, and wood. We're gonna just take a couple of these what, fibers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I think it was less than that. Let's take 10 to be safe. I'll take 10. So we got metal, fiber, thatch, and wood. So I think that's what we need for, the, for this guy, right? No, what am I missing? Oh, I needed a little bit more wood. Okay, no worries. We can take care of that. Okay, so let's make another one of these. And the reason I'm making another one um, is just because I have too many berries. And, you know, I can't throw things away because it's a problem I have. I need to see uh, a specialist about it because um, I just have so many berries. I got to have another place to put them all. So, boom. We are going to fill this bad boy up with some berries because my other one was full. And you know, I have problems. Alright, what do we got here? Let's just take all this here. You're not even the right light, Riley Liz. You're the one I want. Oh boy, you got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Let, oh, let's take care of this real fast. Uh, fill up this one. Throw a little extra. Alright, let's take a second here. What if I just transfer all? We'll just put what it needs to be there. It will, but I don't want the blackberries in here, and I don't want the narcotics in here, so we'll take you back. Take you back. Uh, the seeds for now, you guys can stay in there. I'm not going to do... I'll deal with you when I finally make my move. All right, let's go put this fiber away, and then let's take Liz out and go get some berries so we can get the narcotics running. Let's, oh, let's get rid of the rest of this fiber, which I don't even know where I'm going to put it all. You know what? There's lots of... Oh, well, no, there's not that much room there either. There's a lot more room here. All right, wood, thatch. I might do something crazy and actually throw away some of this fiber because I've got so much of it. I just I just can't help myself. All right, the rest of that's going. All right, I'm going to... My palms are sweating, but I'm going to do this because I don't have time to mess around with all this stuff. Okay, so... Last thing I want to do is put the rest of this metal away. All right. Everybody should be covered. I do need to make a saddle for my trike, so my army has grown. But guys, so here's my plan for today. We need to... I want to find a permanent home. So that's kind of like plan number one. 
I want to go explore a couple areas that uh, have been recommended to me for a place to put a permanent home. I want to pick one or at least come up with two or three plans. Um, and then while I'm out, I might try and get a bird. Like one of the ones with wings. Or not wings, but feathers. Um, we might try that. But most important, I, I, I want to... Um, get Terry and go do a little exploring. But before we do that, there is one thing I am missing. And I need to get a trike saddle, actually, real quick, before we do that. Because I'm going to have to ride this trike. And I don't think I've unlocked it yet. Probably just search. Trike saddle. Okay, so fiber, hide, and wood. So I should have plenty of all of that. Let's get this trike saddle. We'll go do some berry gathering with We'll try the trike. I've not tried them for um, gathering before. So we need hide, fiber. Uh, what was the other thing we needed? That was this one right here. Fiber, hide, and wood. Wood. We are going to need to get some. I'm going to have to probably at some point do another... Um, another stream where I just collect and gather stuff. All right. Is this a wood dino gate? Large wood and stone gate. Is that the only one? That's okay. All right. Let's go get Mr. Trike. And let's go gather some berries. We've never ridden Trike before. Oops, wrong button. Here we go, trikey. Let's let's take you for a spin. Oh, all right. Let's see how how's he. Oh, he's pulling out quite a bit of berries. Now I do have my. I did finally take advice, which is, uh, you know, I'm a little bit stubborn. Um, I did finally take some advice from Sheraton, and I did adjust my uh, sliders up a little bit. To some of the gathering sliders were a little bit on the low side. Let's carry, have you carry just and stamina. You are right, stamina is low. All right, that should be enough. Back to the castle. Mr. Trike, I wish you were green. I don't know what happened to Greeny. The other thing I plan to do, and uh, Mr. Trike, you're gonna hold on to all the berries but the narco berries because I don't wanna deal with you right now. I've got a limited time. That's another, to another day's problem. The other thing I do need to do, uh, and I got this on the last stream, is I wanna do a dino reset. But I want to wait until I find a home and I feel like I'm in a safer place. I, I don't want to have to deal with higher level dinos while I'm searching for a home. And since I know I'm going to do it, I might as well find my home, start that, and then do the reset. Might even get the bird first and then kind of practice with maybe a low level bird. Don't need to go after these big guys I've never dealt with. All right, that's just gonna build up a bunch of narcs. We're gonna leave that to be. We're gonna level up Krug real fast. All right, Krug, one health, two health. And you know what, Krug, let's do um, melee damage, why not? 1,600 Egrams, I don't even know what's down here. We'll just look at the newest stuff that's unlocked and work. We'll kind of deal with this later. Again, I've I've got limit air conditioner. I gotta can do a ref okay. Well, we're gonna have to do a refrigerator soon. That's super cool. I don't think I have electricity, but you know that's cool. Tranquilizer darts. Ugh. We're gonna need those eventually. Ronto. Uh, miner's helmet. Does that let me see in the dark when we're in the caves? Requires a fabricator, which I don't have, which obviously I haven't unlocked. Some man, there's all sorts of stuff going on down here. 
Ooh, elevators? Okay, there's some fun stuff ahead. A Trank Spear Bolt. Mm. A massive bolt for Trank Dark mounted on the front, used as an underwater tranquilizer. Okay, that's going to be important eventually. A vault. That would be good if there were other people around, I have a feeling. Metal arrow. I know those are important, so we're going to unlock that. Um, an industrial forge. We're probably going to need one of those, too. I can do scuba stuff already? Holy moly. We're going to go for it. Why not? We're just unlocking all sorts of stuff. All right. Back out. Oh. Who is here? Can you want to come over here? Come over here. Say hi. Go say hi. Look right there in this camera. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're going to take... Let's change a couple things out. What do you... You got... Let's take this with us. You can have that because we're going to need that while we're... All right. So... Robo Riley's right here. Right here. It's inside. It's right here. Say hi, Robo Riley. Isn't Robo Riley cool? Yeah, I thought so too. Robo Riley's cool looking. You wish we did? Well, I can make one. I can. What is Ro oh, a parasaur? All right, so let's make a Parasaur saddle. Hang on, let me let me do this real fast. When the little one says she needs a saddle, we make it. And it looks like I can just make it right now because I'm carrying a lot of something, apparently. Oh, cool. Well, it's to protect me from the dinos. Check it out. Yeah, we can ride Ro Robo Riley now. Yeah. All right, but before we do that, we need to find a place to live, kiddo. This one, this place is, we have outgrown our home here. All right, so the question is. All right, so the question is, do I want to bring all of this stuff with me? I definitely don't want to bring the hide. Since we're going to be flying, I'm going to move you to my pickaxe spot for now. All right, let's give this a roll. All right, Terry. Let's go try let's go look at some of these areas on the map that I think we want to consider and go to an area we haven't gone to yet. So, if I pull out my map one area that I haven't really been to is at the bottom of this map. So I'm going to head over there first. Kind of check that area out. And then I think I need to head up the peninsula. I like that peninsula. I'm thinking the peninsula is a good option. Um, and then I think, yeah, I think in that, you no know, one can see where I'm pointing right now. And I can't move. There's not a cursor like a mouse I can move. But I'm thinking around like 1670 is a good spot. So let's head that direction first and foremost. Oh, right into the house. All right. So we're going to head to 1670 first. One option. So before we leave this area, I will just say one option is up here. So this would be option maybe one would be this flat ground up here. It's close to where I'm at now. Water is close by. Um, I know that metal is there. There's a bunch of nasty things in the redwoods. There's close to the swamp. So this is option one. Oh, that was the wrong button got to be careful about those buttons so that would be option one would be flat grounds up there above my base all 
I should check what those coordinates are, but I can do that later. Oh, we gotta go get that guy. Nope, not back to the water. Aha, hopefully you can still carry all this. I don't think any of that was super heavy, but... All right. Let's see here. So that was kind of my first thought of where we could move. Let's go check out this green guy since we're... Well, we're not going to deal with him. I'm already going to have too much stuff to carry. And there's too many of those nasty, mean birds over there. Terry and I don't want to deal with that. Okay. All right, let's do uh, weight and stamina. All right, so let's check my map here. So I'm heading, I want to head into this area because I haven't really seen much over here. In fact, I haven't been on the far side of that island, I don't think. So I'm going to go over there first. Now I know there was a spino, yeah, there's a spino over here. You know, I could have two spinos. I could go up on that little cliff. Okay. I'm going to try to stay focused, stay focused, but I could go up on that cliff right there and take advantage of Mr. Spino number two right there. And I could have a second one, guys. You know, I know I said I was going to be focused here. And we are, but we're going to go get that Spino, because I think I have an advantage that I can't let go of. I mean, he's like, I could just get up on that tall rock right there, and I think I would be fine. And then there would be one less. Well, here, let's do this. Let's see if it's even worth my time. No, he's not worth my time. All right. Oh, we got to go. We got to go. I think he's coming after us. All right, let's keep going. Back around here. Whew, that was scary. I thought for a second uh, he was coming after us. He's not worth it. He's a low-level guy. I got to be a little bit picky. I just want to tame everybody. I like all of the, I like all of them. Anyway, I've never been, I actually have not been over here. Go to that big rock there, kind of look around this area. There's a tickle chicken. Mr. Tickle Chicken. See if there's anything over here that would be a good area to build in. Couple mean guys going on down there. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, so let's kind of go around there. That little red guy looks like a meanie. Okay, so let's swing over here. Some metal nodes down here, so that that's encouraging. Big beach property. It's access to water. This definitely, I'm going to note where I am, this definitely could be a potential area. So I'm at what, 90-22? Alright, so we'll note that as a potential home area. I've never seen jellyfish before. Oh, 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 we found something. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, why aren't you landing? 
All right, come back around. Come back around. And land. There you go, Terry. Ha-ha! Another Once note. Your fall is complete, stay close to the centuries. Within them, small pockets of life still flourish in an otherwise barren garden. Beyond their spheres of influence, you will find an endless sea of decay, ruled by shadows and death. Mm. The first of these centuries is the Great City. Though it is no longer a metropolis, a jungle blooms in its place, and you may find a modicum of shelter within its crumbling walls. Interesting. The others will be more familiar to you, if only for the towers you'll find at their center. Those are the source of their power. The obelisks. They are not quite the same as the ones you're familiar with. Not quite as advanced, but that's to be expected. They're an older model. Precursors, or more aptly, prototypes. Okay. Well, we found one of those thingies. So that's cool. So this is definitely a potential home area, I think. Looks like decent water. There's metal nodes down here. If, I, if, it's what I'm, if that's what I think they are. Okay. Okay, this is potential. Access to the open ocean where bigger, meaner we guys are. Saw a couple mean guys out in the distance, but nothing terrible. There's some wood. Okay. One of the other areas, I think, is just around that I want to look at is just around up here, so. Land on this rock, check our map. We are leveling up like crazy now with those level ups. I should have, maybe if I was going to build over here, I should have saved that that level up for later, but this could be a nice little area. It's beach, rocks, kind of away from everything. I want to be, I want to be close to metal for sure. All right, let's see here. Next option is around the corner and up the beach away. I recall this being an area I was like, this would be a good one. Pronto. A couple tries, cool parasaurus, a nice little island right there. You can put a big plot of land right there. Have my little Jurassic Park. Let's get away from those birds while we can. So that's an option. Another option would be here. You could build just right outside the obelisk. You know. Water, the, the nodes aren't too, too far. It's pretty safe over here. Not super flat, though. So we're moving on. I'm, I'll rule this one out. I like me some beachfront property. Although, mean things are happening down there right now. The next area that I want to go to is around the corner here. Double check my map, but I believe it's just around the corner here. A bunch of dillos out patrolling. Could, add, could be part of my dillo army if I move over here. But I need to be close to metal. See, that's the thing. I don't want to have to take long treks every time I want to get metal. I don't know that I've ever seen that guy before. We'll still, we'll still, we'll steer, we'll steal, we'll steer clear of guys that we haven't seen in, you know, since when we play. Just cruise up here, check out this little area. Uh, 
Oh, that guy just got eaten by something. Pack of mean dinos roaming. Eh, nothing over here, so we're just taking a little break. Oh, we're getting lots of levels here. Stamina, stamina, carry weight, carry weight. All right, so the next, re this is one that I'm very interested in. I remember when I was doing my initial flyby that I was very curious about building over here, building on that island right there. The question is, is where would I get all my metal from? Probably have to be a trek. But it is a cool little beach spot. Little lagoon on each side. Peninsula. We'll call this one the peninsula. You can build from this end all the way down. Obviously, there's round rock, I would assume, in here. This would be the other option. Let's cruise down here and just uh, take a second. Let's get our coordinates so I can write this down. Obviously, we could get to the mountains. A couple of robo dinos. All right, let's check our coordinates here. All right, so this is like, we'll call this uh, 65, we'll call this uh, 6516 or something like that. And then we're gonna continue right up that coastline. Yep, that's where I'm, I'm thinking that's where I want to go next, is just right up that coastline. I would love a waterfall, would be cool. Okay, so this is definitely a potential area. All right, let's just set down here for one second. Then we'll, I want to swing into, I want to swing up there, just do a quick little peek up there, see if there's anything. And then continue down around. I think. Oops. Yeah, so I, the other option is to look up that way a little ways. Just continue heading north. Then maybe after I do that, I'll swing along because there's that metal right there and metal mountain, and there's all those rivers. That would be like the middle plain area that I think I would want to look at. Um, I didn't fly up this north of like those big mountains, so maybe I'll try that on this journey. Well, I have I have a lot of stuff with me. I didn't leave everything behind. All right, and onward. I want to just do a quick little circle over here, see if there's anything in this area. Cause I don't recall coming over here when I flew before. I just followed the beach line. I have all my stuff on me, so this um, I'm having. I'm, I'm definitely a bit more focused because I don't want to not live <laughs> past certain areas. All right, let's get down here and take a little breather. Then we're gonna float in that area there. Kind of check that. I didn't really check over here, I don't think, much when I did my last flyby. It's a nice little flat piece of ground up there. Looks like, though, this would be close to the swamp? I don't know that I really want to get anywhere near the swamp. Looks like we'd have to do a little clearing of some of the dinos that are up here. Yeah, and I'm pretty certain the swamp is just right there. Let's 
Yeah, that's the swamp. And I definitely don't really want to be anywhere near the swamps. I'm not a big fan of snakes. We'll just swing just around here because I don't think I want to be anywhere near there. And then there's the redwoods, which I definitely am going to avoid for my first base. Um, based on what everybody is telling me. in here. I think I've got the stamina to make it up this mountain here. Wherever I build, we need... Wherever we build, I want there to be plenty of metal because it has come apparent that metal is important in this game. So, a couple things going on over here. Just check the map here real quick. Yep, okay, so I'm going to swing back towards the beach area because that's another area I do recall in my playtime. Definitely some raptors that have clearly spawned in here, so I don't know that I want to be in a common raptor spawn zone. Nope, it's going to start getting dark on us here. Yeah, see, I see snakes down there. I don't want any of that. Oh, yeah, I remember stopping here before. There was lots of things looking to hurt me over here. So this area is definitely not part of my plan. Let's get up on that big rock right there, and then we'll make our next jaunt. Yeah, this is definitely, okay, I think this is an area that I don't want to be living in. There seems to be quite a few meaner creatures hanging in. I see at least three of those chickens here. I, mean, I see three chickens, although, again, I have the advantage now. If I wanted to, like, tame one, now would be a good time to do it, but I'm not worried about that here on this trip. That pterodactyl looks different than mine, does it? Maybe so. It looks super cool, though, for sure. All right. So where are we in our journey? I want to head back that way. So the next area is like 50 and 50, 20, 40, 20. All right. Since it's getting a little dark, I'm going to slowly fly my way out of here. That's too close to the, that's just, is that, yeah, that's too close to the swamps, I think, right there. Just cruising down here, check out this area. So this is a big cliffside, but nothing is, oh, there's some raptors. I don't really want to mess with raptors right now. We're just going to slowly fly to where I know I'm safe, and then I'll speed up again. Once I know where I'm at and where I can land. one of those meaner dinosaurs. Don't want to be anywhere near him. What about... Oh, let's, let's go back over here. So many choices. So many choices. Come to a slow stop here. Saw a mean dino. I just want to avoid his vengeance area. All right. How are we doing? We're gonna need to eat here, so let's grab a couple bites of that. Terry, how you doing? You look like you're good with everything. All right. Let's move onward. So next option was. There's my peninsula, so we can say we flew there. there we flew there. It's kind of a nice little area up here, but 
I like the peninsula a lot better. It's a lot more space to build on. I know he's building the back here too. So far I have two favorite places. Alright. In this area was I believe the second area? Let's get down here first. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's get you right here. A couple little nasty birds right there. We don't want to mess with them. So nothing over here. So that was the end of the peninsula. Okay. Not enough space over here. Let's check out on this little, by this tree. That's what I'm thinking is if we just go up here. There's that waterfall. There's a waterfall. There's a couple too. This area right here was one of the ones I think I recall when we did our when I did my initial fly around. Got the high walls. Let's go let's go scope this area out. You got access to the water, so you've got a water potential. You've got the cool waterfall in the backdrop, which is super cool. Let's see if we can find some Check this area out here. Could always build on top too. The question is, where is all the metal at? I think that's cool. I'm gonna check up there before we go, but this is definitely a contender. So we are where are we? We are 4515. That is that. 45 15 that's a contender we're gonna call this the waterfall so this is the peninsula this is the waterfall and then we're close we have a cool backdrop with the snow I think I, I think this might be one of my winners not super flat but that's all right I think with the you know when you turn off the could even build like up here and have like a little bridge area there's a dillo up there let's check out what's up here This is cool. I'm not gonna go much further in there. This is definitely, oh, oh, just got dark. That's cool. And I would actually probably build more on this side here. There's some metal and the round rocks and I guess I would just have to make trips to get true metal if I was gonna come here. And there's plenty of room over here for Jurassic Park. Gonna stay on this rock till nighttime passes. So this is uh, my one of my leading spots. And I know just over there is Mosh Pit Island. So there's also stuff you could tame close by. Kind of like in this little area over here. And it's pretty. I'm, um, I'm gonna put a little star. I like this one so far, and I think well, I like all three that I've picked so far. Ah! 
Hello, my fellow nerds, and thanks again for watching another episode of Nerd Boy Gaming. I am Nerd Boy 81. Well, we're on the search for a new base. I got three potential locations so far, and in the next episode, I think I have a couple more. Um, then eventually, I will find a place to make my permanent home for Krug and his uh, army of dinos. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know in the comments below which some of your favorite locations are. Um, and we'll see if I end up picking one of your favorites. Um, again, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already and you're watching this content and you do like the videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel try to grow. We're looking, we're marching our way to 700 subs now, guys. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate all the uh, support and comments and tips. Um, you can head over to Twitch and catch the live stream. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm about... I think seven hours right now ahead over there. So, well, yeah, maybe more like four or five hours ahead over there. So you would see some of the things that we're going to be leading towards if you were to watch it Twitch. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for, for coming along and uh, following this journey. I really appreciate it. It's a great community. Um, and uh, again, until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day.